Every second, our national debt is ticking up. And a week from tomorrow, we're going to hit the debt ceiling. Whether to raise the limit is a major point of contention in Congress. It's already been raised five times under President Obama, 74 times total. It's not a surprise. All right, can Congress strike a deal before time runs out? Let's talk about it with our panel. Ford O'Connell is the chairman of Civic Forum PAC, and Christy Setzer, president of New Heights Communications. Welcome to you both. Good to Thank be here. You for us. People say you have a debt limit on your credit card, and you don't just go back to the credit card company and say, like, I'm going to need some more room here because. You know, even though you do have to pay for the stuff you already have, you might not charge more stuff if you don't have more of a debt limit. Well, let's put it this way. With an $18 trillion national debt and trillions more in unfunded liabilities, Republicans shouldn't raise the debt ceiling, okay? Because what they need to do is they need to sit down with the White House and devise a plan to put America on more fiscal sound footing. Unfortunately, they don't have the leverage. And they're going to have to raise the debt ceiling because here's what Republicans don't get. A, they have no leverage in this fight. If you're going to enter into a tough Legislative battle on Capitol Hill, principle in being right doesn't win. Winning the messaging game doesn't. After the DHS mm -hmm. fiasco, you can right. see that my guys don't understand how to win messaging <laughs> and why that matters. For there were those who last week said it's like Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid are still the Speaker of the House and the Senate Majority Leader because they're very good at playing the game. Yes, and Republicans don't have a unified strategy. That's the whole key. It didn't matter whether it was DHS funding or this. What Republicans need is a strategy, and they need to explain to the American people why the national debt is so important and why, in my opinion, it's probably the most significant issue for my generation and the next generation because we're basically spending our nation in a bankruptcy, but yeah. no one wants to stand forward to do this. And I'm going to tell you, the only way that we're going to put the country back on fiscal footing is to have a Republican president in 2016 because President Obama does mm -hmm. not have the will to basically fix the drivers of the national debt, which is 60% of our spending is mushrooming every day on Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, and entitlements because 50,000 baby boomers are turning 65. Every time somebody brings that up, that third rail, you're going to get a commercial of you pushing grandma well, in a wheelchair I, I, I totally, over the and cliff. That, and that's the whole point, is because they've learned how to play this game. You also forgot the false equivalency that her party plays between deficit and debt. They're very good at this game, and they, and they right, run us over and yeah. over. But all I'm yeah. trying to say is we just have to get better at it, and we have to basically be willing to sacrifice a White House to do this. Okay, I'm saying that's a very important conversation that we should be having, but it's not the conversation that we should be having right now. We should have had it way back when Congress allocated okay. the money in the first place. Good, good point. Here's the deal. We're going to put on, we're at 18.1 right now. We're going to put on $7.6 trillion. It's not doing anything, just standing where we are right now over the next decade. Mm -hmm. All I'm trying to tell you is you're mortgaging one generation for another generation. You're basically robbing Peter to pay Paul, and eventually we're all going to get burned by it. So <laughs> you can either take a stand now, or we can all go bankrupt. All right, we're going to leave it there. Um, I'm sa I can't believe we didn't Resolve the debt ceiling <laughs> right here with our They're political panel. They're going to come to an agreement. Yeah. They will have to work out some but not kind of deal. <laughs> yeah, the date is looming. All right, thank you both. Good Full to see you. Thank you. All right.